Have you ever clicked on a video specifically because of the thumbnail and thought, huh, I wonder how he did that. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how the most famous YouTubers make their thumbnails. I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. We're going to make our thumbnails today using Canva. So if you don't have a Canva account, you can easily just sign in using Google. And today my account is used with an education account. I have a bunch of tools for free that you might not have. The same basic premise applies to each thumbnail as well. So here down here, which I will show you later, is how I created the thumbnail for this video. But let's go ahead and create our own thumbnail from scratch. In order to do that, you're just gonna come down to the social media templates and you're going to go all the way to the right and you're gonna click on YouTube thumbnail. Now from here, it's going to give you a blank canvas. It's gonna look like that and it is up to you to figure out what you want to do. So I'm gonna show you how I made my thumbnail for this video. So I went to elements and you can see all the sources I used, tried some different ones. Okay. I also connected my bitmoji, but I'll show you that in a little bit. So at first, since I'm creating a video on how to use Canva, I'm going to use the colors that Canva, I'm going to use the Canva colors. So in order to do this, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to type in Canva. Spelling is hard. And we can pick any one of these. I just decided to pick this one, which was literally just the first one. And what you're going to do, you're going to right click. You're going to go to set image as background. And once you click on it, you're going to see all these options up here pop up. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit photo. And for me, this is premium. Right, this is pro. I have free with my education account. Maybe okay, you're going to go to so once you have this put into your document, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to where it says and it has the checkered background and you're going to click on it. It says transparency and you're going to make that a little bit lighter. You go all the way down. It'll be just a blank screen. So you're going to go a little bit. I'm going to go to about 70 percent because you want all the foreground pictures to pop on your screen. And if it's too dark, they're not going to pop as well. So after I have it at about 70%, what I am going to do is zoom in a, ooh, that's a little bit. Once you have this at about 70%, once you have this at about 70% transparency, what you're going to do is come over here and this is where you can add your elements. Okay, so as you can see, when I did this before, I have all these elements already put in. So since I'm making a video on Canva, I'm going to put in the Canva logo. Now it's going to be gigantic and all you have to do is resize it by clicking on it and drag it up. Now, when you drag it up, you're going to see these lines in the middle, which tells you your parameters to make everything fit within the screen. However, this is the same dimension as the part inside. So you can use either. I'm going to use the inside part. And when you come up enough, you're going to see this middle line right here that shows that you, whatever you're dragging is in the middle of your frame. So I'm going to hold it there and drop it. Now, since I'm making a YouTube video on Canva, I also want the YouTube symbol. I tried out this one with the I tried out this one with the white background. Didn't really work as well. I didn't like it as much. So I'm going to drag the red one in instead. And again, I'm just going to resize it to about the same size as the Canva logo is. We can always adjust it later. And it automatically places it against this frame right here. Hey, if it doesn't, you can automatically adjust it as well. But this is the easiest way to do it. Now, right now, you have a Canva logo and a YouTube logo, but you have all this open space. So you can certainly take a picture of yourself and put it up there. You can add different logos. You can add maybe a question mark, something along those lines. I have all of these saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm I just went to Bitmoji. 
and I connected my Snapchat and have all my Bitmojis in here, but you can certainly create your own avatar. And then I just typed in the shocked emoji. You can type in all these, you can type in love, you can type in happy, something that'll get a person's attention, but not detract from this being about Canva. So what I did is I typed in shocked and I came up with all these and all I did was click on it and I downloaded the sticker. And when I did that, I got this over here. Hey, you can upload a file. I uploaded it, dragged it in here. And all you have to do is drag it right on in. Now it's going to be the default size. So all you got to do is redrag it to your purpose. Okay. I can place it here, here, doesn't matter. And what I did is I came up back up here and added another element. Since I'm teaching something, I just like to add my little teacher badge. I can add it right on here, resize it so that it fits perfectly. And there you go. Now, right now, this is what this looks like. Okay. But you still have all this open space up here. So what? I want to do is since I'm going from Canva making a thumbnail and making it into a YouTube thumbnail, what I want to do is come back in here and show the viewer what I'm doing. So, so what I can do is once this is dragged in, I can flip it because I'm not going from YouTube to Canva. I'm going from Canva to YouTube so I can flip it. So that it's facing from Canva to YouTube. I can tilt it so that it's over my head. I can enlarge it so that it's facing from going from Canva to YouTube and resize it so that it's still in my frame. So that when I download this, it'll pop up. You can leave it here, but what you can also do, and once I forgot to mention, but once this is downloaded, this stays as this. It stays as the Canva symbol. It doesn't do this whole animation. So once you have this down, you can stop there. But what I did is I went back and just added some text. I added a text box and it's going to show up super tiny. So I want to increase it. And I just put best thumbnail. You can put in perfect thumbnail. You can put in you can put in basically whatever you'd like. Now, this is a very boring font. So what I can do is I can go up here, come up here and pick whichever font you want. Some of these will not be available to you and that's okay. For me, I just picked the Arcavo black background, but you can pick which part. I just picked this kind of font, the Arcavo black font. You can do whichever you like. I, for right now, this is fine. We're going to extend the sides so that it reaches the edge. Now, this is still kind of boring. It doesn't really stand out that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size. I can move it to the back so that it's behind the arrow. Okay. I could also move the arrow down a little bit so that it's not in the way. Maybe increase it so it's not over my head. And what I can do, there you go. What I can do now is change this so that it stands out a little bit more. So I go to this more section. If you have a bigger screen, you might just have it on here. And I go to effects. And now I can change just about anything about this text. So I can add a background. I can add a shadow to it. I can do nothing to it. What I like to do is do an outline because that makes things stand out a little more to me. And then I can come down here. I could curve it. It doesn't look the best though. And what I can do is come over here and change the background so that it actually stands out. Okay. So now what I have is a thumbnail that stands out. You understand what it's talking about without using almost any words. Now all you have to do from here is go to share. It does have this plus button because it thinks that you're making a presentation and it has this animation in it. But you go to share. You go to download. You go down here and right now it's clicked on video. You don't want a video. You want a thumbnail, which means you're going to scroll up, go to PNG and you're going to download it from here. 
and that's it you got yourself a beautiful thumbnail for a brand new video if you want other tutorials on how else to use canva leave it in the comment section down below if you like this video feel free to subscribe and like otherwise i'll catch you next time